Yo, 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 what's good? This is Grey Fox. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Do give it a like if you enjoy it and subscribe if you want to check out the next one. Anyway, I'll let you go on with it. So, let's pause it for a sec. We don't want to miss anything important. It doesn't auto pause as often as I would like this version. Uh, that looks good. It is almost as quick as mac as like setting a macro and then doing it over and over again. Obviously, huge patterns would probably benefit from using macros, but I'm pretty comfortable with just knocking that together. And those will become more bedrooms soon. So who's this really angry person? I saw Peter Crown, nice. I'm guessing it's it's the one that we've locked up. No, he's so angry. It's because he's not allowed to play, pray. Oh, that reminds me, actually, we want to make a... Where's my... We want to make a guild hall, don't we? Uh, what I want to do is I want to designate this area for smoothing. Okay. And then I'm going to make this a... I guess it's a meeting hall first, just like... So it is normally. Let's get rid of that one, that one. <clears throat> we want to assign a location to it. Guild Hall. Oh no, what was it? A farmer's guild hall, I think. These aren't in. Alphabetical, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a farmer hall. Do you know what? If it's a farmer's hall, the guild hall should probably be upstairs where farming stuff can be built. Hmm. Can I see where my guilds are? I guess I can't. I shouldn't have got rid of that. I think we are going to end up moving the farmer's guild hall upstairs. I feel like it would make more sense having soil, you know? Soil in it. Cannot see details about this zone. See details of assigned location. The company of deer. That was it. So we have done that. I think it needs to be a guild hall. Oh, it is a guild hall though. Currently it's marked down as being a meeting place though. I don't know if guild hall, this counts as a guild hall. It does say farmer guild hall at the top. Or if guild hall is one of the um, things it upgrades to. I can't remember. But it does need furnishing, I believe. Let me just refresh my memory on that. I haven't fucked with guild halls in a while. Excuse me. All right, only members can visit. That's what we want. We don't want people just turning up. I can change the names of these, but I won't. I quite like the, the Gorge of Pearls. Can I just say, how much sexual innuendo is there in this fortress? Gorge of Pearls, Lance Dipped. We've literally got a, we've got a dwarf called Arse Whipper, who I think has a whip. Excuse me, let me see. We find him. Uh, I think it's this guy, actually. He has a spear. Spread Roughness, no, that's not him. I think it was a dwarf. Maybe it's the really angry one. It wasn't actually the lasher, I think it was a spear. Dwarf. Yeah, look. Thicket Whippass. Bomb Recatol Whippass. You can't make this up. This is what's great about this game.
one of the many things. Alrighty, so what was I doing like just a minute ago? I'm so easily distracted in this game. Okay, let's have a look again at this at this place. It does say agreed to build guild hall. Maybe we should in no, let's not engrave yet. Let's put in some chests. I really hope we have some nice, some nice uh, coffers. Let's start calling it coffers. I think sounds less like I'm being pervy. Mm, I mean, it's not. I want a master crafted one, man. Maybe I'm being too. Ooh. A caravan has arrived. A human caravan. Okay. Well, we don't want to give the humans too much of our stuff. Uh, I want to get rid of those. How, what's the hotkey for this? It's around here somewhere. Okay, how do I get rid of it? Ah, boom. Okay. It's easy to remember. R for ramps. Right. Let's move some goods over here. So, how many finished good barrels have we got? There's no way we only have one with 13 things in it. No fucking way. I can't believe it. Oh no. Okay, so it's showing different types of wood bin. That's more like it. What's in here? Yeah, boy. Well, that's not what we're after. Okay. I'm fine with that. And then again, we don't really need anything. Maybe we'll actually, we're going to save this for the dwarfs. I think we'll just let them sit there for ages and we just won't buy anything. At least for now. Maybe we'll offer them something. Let's give them something. Let's give them a gift. And maybe an anvil? Let's give them one of our better crafted anvils. Just as an offering. It's just to show goodwill to the humans. We wouldn't give the stinking elves any of that service, but... The humans, I mean... Their eyes are a bit far apart. And not all of them can be trusted, but I think we want to try and be at least diplomatically friendly with the humans that are nearby. How's she feeling now? Still perfectly healthy? Hey? Eh? Hmm. Fucking vampire, 100%. Not even thirsty right now. She's upset. For probably various reasons. But she isn't. Oh god. She isn't hungry or thirsty. Definitely vampire. We're gonna have some fun in this fort. Okay. Have we not got any coal? Bibituous coal, whatever the hell it is. Let's get some of that out. No more there. Uh, no more there. Oh, there's some here. And here. We start getting more of these ores out. <sighs> Mate, I may have to stop the stream soon so I can get some sleep. I need to like, I need to sort of, I, I, I need to be up in the morning, by the way. 
and typically I do that by staying up but I woke up quite early this morning so I'm gonna have a, I would have a hard time staying up and then going to work all day you know so I might get an hour or two in, in a bit Well, it looks like we are getting some coal. Decent amount. Hmm. Mining or oh, okay. Ooh, that means someone's got a fey mood. Oh, possessed. Now this one doesn't give the the um, skill. But it will still give us a a um, artifact. We haven't had any amazing artifact. I think that's them there. I can't even remember what our last one was. Right, let's follow them. All right, they're taking up a um, stone crafters workshop. So it wouldn't be bad to have a spare. Oh, we, I guess we won't get the skill, will we? Okay, so the idea is. They've been possessed by a spirit of a dwarf, so they don't even know what they're doing right now. So it's actually the other dwarf is crafting this. Excuse me, okay, it looks like they've begun. Good ship. Let's wait and see what we get. Oh, quick smoke. Oh, I've already got one, sweet. So, the farm was created a limonite scepter. That sounds pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Again, not super useful, but pretty cool. Uh, let's get the broker at depot. Oh no, let's not get the broker just yet. Let's get an anvil. Let's get our most valuable iron anvil. I'm hoping that they won't just see this as like a It's almost like a piss take, but I, uh, I don't know. I've never, I've never offered such a small offering before. I don't think they get grumpy. Right, let's see. Let's get trader requested. Wait for him to turn up. Right, he's here. Let's trade and let's offer this as a gift. I will see that our leader gets his offering. I mean, it's not amazing, but you're actually giving it to the leader. Ooh. Why not offer them a gift just to say, you know, thanks for coming, but we have other ideas for our fine crafts. And we prefer dwarven ale. Um. I feel like we're going to move our guild hall. What is happening? I've got the... Um, oh, I do that all the time. I just want to make sure that this is even. So this should come up to here. Yep, yeah, it does. Sweet. Oh, boy. I wish you could right-click to undesignate. Um, what am I doing? I'm going to put things in here for statues. Maybe statues that are associated with farming. Oh boy.
Now, I don't think we'll be able to smooth the walls or the floor. Because it's silt. But we will need... So we will need some pretty nice statues to compensate for that. Right, for now, I'm going to assign this... Meeting room. I love this music. Add this and just take away here, 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 and here. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Except we're going to add this to the guild hall. Gorge of Pearls. They're making some good shit here. Now, note, we haven't had a single drained of blood person since the last one. I guess that's always the case. We haven't had a single one of those since we properly immured the vampire. Now, as I said, the last one was probably one that they snuck in. Um... Let's chop some more trees. And actually, while we're at it, let's gather a bunch more plants. And I want to make a workshop for carving bone as well. We need to sort out this. Why is there wine here? This is not a food stock pile. Is it? No. Ah. Okay. So we can actually say none of all of this. I didn't notice it was greyed out. <clears throat> that being said, we still haven't done this yet. So let's put some stockpiles in. I don't think the actual food and drink stockpile needs to be huge. Well, there is quite a lot in there. Let's do... No, let's do what we were originally planning. Let's do this. Except, this is going to be a food stockpile for not prepared meals, not meat or the fish. I can't remember if I had unprepared fish upstairs or not. Not drinks. Not seeds. Fat will have. That should be fine. Let's just check on the unprepared fish. I can't remember if I made it up, up there or not. Okay, unprepared fish is up there. So let's make sure it's not here. Ooh. Makes sense to me. And we're going to make the stockpile for... For the finished meals and drinks. Food. So that'll be drinks. All drinks. All of those drinks. And prepared meals. So that looks good. And we can take food off of here completely if we haven't already. Yeah, we have. Sweet. It should start dragging stuff from down here upstairs now. It's much closer to our dining room, I'm pretty sure. Seems like we're running out of... Uh Seems like we're running out of coal. We have got coal. We've got coal here, though. Making charcoal. Have we not got a standing order for making coke? 
work order. Is it this one? Yeah, we have. Maybe I'll work, aren't we? Doesn't matter who we have here. Oh, it does seem like they're doing it. Okay. Alright, it's not a problem. I think maybe we should make our uh, second one. Because it would be good to have plenty of um, charcoal being made. So we're going to make another smelter purely for making charcoal. That, that standing order, we should make that higher, I think. Um, how do we do that? Work orders? No. Oh, we haven't. Huh. Let's check our work orders. Orders. Okay. This one. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Right. I got it. I forget how. I forgot how that works. But as I understand it now, it, they check it every certain time. And if it is less, they'll start the order of 10. And then when the order's finished, we will get a thing here saying it's finished. But then another one will pop up if we still haven't got enough. That being said, I'm still going to make the second workshop. Because if anything, it will train the skill in some of our doors. And eventually we'll have someone who's particularly good at it. And then we'll start specialising a bit more with the... With the smelting. Well, making charcoal, I should say. Okay. So we're going to go build... F workshop, sorry. Build workshop. No, workshop is O now. Furnishes. Furnishes. Furnaces. Smelter. And we're going to make that from jet blocks because we're edgy. Right, that's up and running now. We're going to add a work order to this workshop. This probably isn't the best way to do it, but that's how I'm doing it now. To make coke. Oh, and we want that to be set to 100. Now, this is a separate work order. I could make one work order go for multiple workshops, but I'll be honest with you. This kind of thing I used a DF hack tool for. Um, and I'm not, I'm not so hot on how this works, so I'm still getting used to it. The work orders is, some, is something I didn't used to use much in the previous version. And that was purely just because it was what I was used to. We have got some more microbes. We've got 54 population now. We really need to start churning out some beds. Let's see what work order for bed we've got. Let's let's increase this number to 20 and start making some bedrooms. Well, more bedrooms, I should say. Build furniture container. We have a super nice chest. So let's give that to one of our nobles. Furniture container. I'm going to put it here. Mudstone, I think it was, but still. And I think that's the only one. So let's start knocking these together. It's just on the inside of the doorway each time, I think. By the look of it. Now, build furniture cabinet. Do we have any nice, super fancy cabinets? We do. We have two actually. So the super nice cabinet is gonna go next to the bed. Hmm. Let's put it in this corner over here. And this side we'll put it on this corner. And the rest of them I don't think there's any more. Let's double check and look. And it's opposite the door. Uh, 
and we're gonna make some doors here as well build door uh, let's see if we have any fancy doors nope it's not a big deal it'd be cool if it automatically made bedrooms and we don't want to make a stockpile we want to make a zone dearly two bedrooms created cool Some more babies start raining. <clears throat> oh, what was that? Oh, another baby. Okay, let's get rid of those. Ha! Huh. Now, there's a few things I'm going to say for the next stream. Number one is redirecting the river, that's going to be quite an undertaking. And we're not going to be going for super much longer. And sorting out the vampire, that's going to be for next stream. So what's something we can do quick? Oh, and making soap. I've seen a lot of tallow being sorted out, so that's something else that we're going to start doing next stream. Um, so for now, I'm going to start carving out more bedrooms. So it seems that's something important. Some smoothing jobs might be a good idea as well, yeah. In fact, we might designate this whole area for smoothing. Just so we can get some more skill in it. Because ultimately we want some really good engravers. I'll keep them occupied. Check on our resident vampire. It's still healthy. It's been ages. I'm doing all right, she's thinking. Of course she's doing all right. She's the undead, so you heard it here first. It definitely seems like you can visibly tell that the dwarf is a vampire by looking at them. Is probably the easiest way to determine it. Can't be sure because it's the only one I've seen in the new version, but it seems pretty obvious to me that, that person's a vampire. The only reason, one of the reasons I was so sure it was the other guy was because this seemed way too on the nose. But I guess that's what they're going for. So it's exciting. We've caught our vampire. We have plans. Wicked plans. Involves a water source and something sharp. And I'm gonna end the stream there. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. I might be playing a bit later. I'm not sure. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh...